Jessica, did you hear me? You're pregnant. Are you sure? I take it this wasn't planned. No, it's not that. It's just... I, I don't know. I had no idea. I'm sorry. What did you just say? You're pregnant. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I can't be. You can't be. I mean, I, I can be, but I just... I, are you sure? Yes. So, I'm assuming this wasn't planned? Hell no. I mean, I got nothing against little babies, but... I had no idea. This came for you. I never get mail here. It's got your name on it. It's from Landview University. You apply? No, of course not. Me apply to college? I'm a little old for that. Well, the last time I checked, a book is lighter than a tray. Everything okay? Yeah, excuse me. Well, I am gonna fly out to Boston tonight and start checking out these Bennett Thompsons. Good. Uh, just one second, Mrs. Williamson. I want to step outside so we can speak more privately. So you say you're looking for Bennett Thompson? <laughs> hey, Danny, uh, do you have a minute? Um, we wanted to tell you something. Oh, God, not more bad news. Oh, no, 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 no. This is actually really good news. You're in remission? You're not going to die? I could have sworn that Dorian would take the bait. Yeah, me too. I know. I'm just sorry you lost your job. I know how important this project is to you. Well, it'll still get built. Well, don't be too sure. A Dorian scorned. No, it is no match for the banner, and she's still a public official, and if she tries to renege on this project, then we'll just have to remind the public. And we can do that, yes, yes. I just knew it wasn't going to last very long anyway over there working with her. Sooner or later, she was going to realize that I truly love my wife. Oh, oh God. What? This Vickers. Ah, <laughs> yes. Um, this is actually the Christmas model, and it lights up. Oh, great. Maybe he'll fall in the pool and electrocute himself. Hey, Charlie, Vicky. Hi, Brody. Have you seen Jess? No, not since she went off to the doctor. She wasn't feeling well. She's sick. She's sick. I thought maybe I had a virus. Nope. You're having a baby. Oh, my God. Yeah, apparently she started feeling nauseous after eating a muffin. Baked by David Vickers. David Bakes? David made muffins. <laughs> And Jessica ate one? What was she thinking? Well, Natalie <laughs> ate one, too. And she's sick as well. I, uh, really thought I was just food poisoning. Nope. You're having a baby. <sighs> My God. So you're telling me David Vickers poisoned both your daughters? That's exactly what she's saying. No. Come on. To be fair, David had a muffin, and he's no worse for wear. Depends on who you ask. So if it's not the muffins... Then why are they sick? I have no idea. That's why they went to the doctor to find out. I realize this is a surprise, but I have to say, this is the kind of news I'm happy to deliver. Congratulations. This is good news, isn't it? I'm not sure. Congratulations, Jessica. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to assume. Uh, is this not good news? I'm not sure. picking up. 
Well, maybe they're still at the doctor's, or maybe they're feeling better and they went out somewhere. I mean, Natalie likes to play pool, yep. you know. Uh, hey, Jess, I'm at your house. Your mom says you're not feeling too good and that you went to the doctor. Uh, I hope you're feeling better. I'm, I'm going to go over to Rhodey's. Why don't you give me a call? Let me know how you're doing. Okay. Well, let me know if there's a problem. Sure okay. thing. All right. See ya. Okay. <laughs> well, now that blue matches your eyes. And you're saying that a grown man actually wore this? No. David Vickers wore that. You know what? Let me call you right back. Hey, Jeff, you looking for someone? Yeah, have you seen Kelly or Rex? Yeah, they're inside. Come in. Hey, thank you. Oh, you know, I still haven't gotten that file on uh, my client, Hannah O'Connor, from St. Anne's. Your office hasn't heard anything, have they? As far as I know, she's still being evaluated, but uh, I'm not here about her. I'm here about Bennett Thompson. No, honey, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Because we'd all have some good news on that front, but no, this is about something different. So nothing's changed? No, Mika, I'm sorry. But uh, you're feeling good today, right? Yeah. yeah. She's continuing with the treatments and everything? Yeah. So what's the good news? You tell her. You sure? Somebody tell me. Your mom and I are getting married. <laughs> okay. Is there a possibility that you could be wrong here? This isn't a home pregnancy test, Natalie. The results are conclusive. Okay. And how far along am I? Two months. Two months. <sighs> Is there anything that might have caused a false positive? Um, the test is pretty accurate. I just never expected. How far along am I? About two months. Two months? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a little blown away. I, uh, this is not what I was thinking about. I was not thinking about children. I mean, it, I just started a new job. I understand. But in my experience, there's never a right time. It's just that, you know, I'm still recovering from everything that happened with Mitch Lawrence. And I just started this new job. This was... The last thing that I expected. Look, I can recommend a couple of great OBs here at the hospital. Lots of people like Morrison and uh, Marx is terrific. He'll be fine. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll make an appointment. Thanks, Doc. Okay. I understand. It's a little overwhelming. Who was it you saw when you had Bree? I want to send the test results over. Um, I I'm not sure who I'm going to use this time. It's just that you have these underlying health concerns. I really do think that you need to be seen sooner than later. Right, of course. Thank you, doctor. Of course. 